Hello and welcome to the Anna tutorial video. Today we're going to be using the Anna manufacturability analysis software to analyze four iterations of a clevis mount, which is shown on your screen right here. For each iteration, new features were added and the part became more complex. And I will note this was designed in a CAD software and exported into a step file for analysis. So to start, we're going to open up the Anna dashboard and we can either open an existing project, uh, but of course we're going to be starting a new project today. We can give it any sort of name that we want. We'll create a new one on the desktop here and hit save. So what that, that's doing is creating a .ana file, which is essentially a database that holds all of our manufacturability analysis for all of our iterations. So we're going to start by adding an iteration, and ana accepts input as a step file, uh, and most CAD packages can export into a step file. And so we're going to go ahead and add our first clevis mount iteration. It'll take the label directly from the file name, but you can change that, or you of course can add additional notes as well to mention additional features or things that are going on with that specific part of the design. Once we've added the part, it shows up here on our screen, and we can now select the manufacturing processes for which we want the analysis to take place. So for now, we're going to start with machining and sand casting, hit analyze, and that's going to go ahead and kick off and send the parts to the machining and sand casting modules for analysis. Once the analysis is complete, green checkboxes will be shown to indicate that it is finished. We can now go to the results tab and see both graphical and numeric feedback about the manufacturability analysis. If we want to zoom in on a particular part, we can hit full screen and look at the detail. You can also hit learn more to view a short tutorial about that specific manufacturability metric. Right here, this is showing the machining feedback. We can also use this drop down menu to switch to die cast to sand casting, and this provides different manufacturability analysis. So now let's say that we've changed the design and we've adding, we're now going to add a new iteration. And to speed things up a little bit, I'm actually going to go ahead and add the rest of the iterations right now. But you can imagine that as you're designing, either you're manually exporting to a step file and, and doing this analysis, or you can use the CAD plugin uh, to do this automatically. So every time you're saving the part or making a change to the part, um, it can automatically come over to the ANA software to be analyzed. So we're going to analyze for the machining process here, and we're going to let this go ahead and run. Okay, now that the analysis is completed for these four iterations, we're going to click on the Trends tab to get a high-level overview of how our design is progressing. We can see this graph here shows our machining manufacturability score across iterations. And it makes sense that as the part becomes more complex, it becomes more difficult to machine. We can scroll through our design and we can see how our design changes. And if we want more detail, we can scroll down and look at the graphs that describe the progression of the individual metrics. So one thing to note is that in the setup complexity, our score drops significantly when we move from 3 to 4. And so if we want to see and investigate a little bit further what's going on, we can go to the Compare tab and directly compare two CAD models. So I'm going to compare Clevis Mount 1, or sorry, Clevis Mount number 3 and Clevis Mount number 4. And I'm going to jump over to Setup Complexity. And I can see these two versions side by side. And so I see that there's a third setup added on the back side. I'm going to zoom in, I, I see that a feature was added which is causing that uh, additional setup. Now maybe you want to communicate this with management or a customer. And so what you can do is you can export a report, uh, a 3D PDF of this clevis mount and of this machining feedback. And it'll create a PDF that is shareable with anybody who has Adobe Acrobat. So we can go ahead and open this up. And so you can see it contains uh, the same information that you see on the software, and you can you can send this on to anybody. 
I also want to mention that you can change analysis settings. So there are some parameters that affect how the manufacturability analysis takes place. And so, for example, one of the parameters is the maximum tool length, which is used for the reachability score. Um, and if you have a tool length longer than 8, you can go ahead and change that value here to kind of customize the analysis for your specific machining setup. And lastly, I do want to mention that we have a survey that you can take online, as well as links to send the development team emails so that we can continue to improve the software. This concludes the Anna tutorial video. Thank you for watching.